Hello, hello, and welcome to um, some more thoughts. Feels like spring out there. And whenever I talk to people, people always want to know what was it like in the good old days. And of course, I mean, the good old days are absolutely, you don't want the good old days. Um, and I'm reminded of Sarah Palin, who reminds me a lot of my grandmother. You know, she would come home, rifle lean against the, the cabinet after she just shot the game for breakfast. And then uh, if she got angry at you, she just shot you. And I thought that was, that, those are the good old days. The good old days, uh, I, I always talk about that. You, you forget uh, how far we've come and how much that we have accomplished. For example, in the good old days, you didn't go to a psychiatrist or a counselor or a shrink. You lived with your depression and you, you either killed yourself or you swallowed pills. And if people were acting funny in my day, what we did is we just locked them in the attic. So uh, we had um, uh, we had Mr. Uh, Eisenstein uh, living next door to us, and uh, they locked him in the attic because he was nuts. He used to smack his kids, and he used to go into screaming tantrums. And uh, every day when we would back out of the window, he'd be looking at us from the attic, and we'd wave to him. And my mother, and if he'd wave back, my mother would say, "See, uh, now he's if he's going to do that, he's fine." And that was when Mr. Eisenstein jumped. Uh, so, yeah, not the good old days. And in the good old days, the other thing that is, is really, it's important to remember is in the good old days, uh, if you were gay, you were hospitalized and given uh, shock treatments. Uh, uh, Donald Turing was uh, one of those people who suffered from that. And of course, Oscar Wilde was put into solitary confinement. Um, so uh, you, uh, you were given shock treatments. And I've always said that actually, uh, I was the one that got the shock when I realized my second husband was gay. But those were the good old days, and the good old days uh, where telephones were attached to walls, and we had party lines. We had party lines, and that meant that you could listen in on other people's conversation, and you could interrupt, um, and it was there was no sense of privacy and personal space. And we have all that now. We have psychiatrists. Uh, gay people are considered uh, just perfectly normal people, um, and we... Uh, we don't give them shock treatments uh, unless we force them to, uh, I don't know, do uh, nothing. We don't want to do anything for them because they're people just like, they're one of us, just like we are one of them. Uh, so the good old days, uh, and the good old days, you couldn't take your telephone with you, so you couldn't answer the phone uh, whenever somebody called you, uh, and you left messages on message machines. So I don't really go for the good old days, even though in the good old days we didn't have the coronavirus. We had other things. So thank you so much for joining me for my thoughts on the good old days.